Granada is located in the south of Spain at the foot of Sierra Nevada mountains. The population of the city is about 230,000 people. It is famous for its diverse culture and rich history. The Palace of Alhambra is one of the most famous examples of the Islamic historical architecture. It makes Granada a hot spot among cultural and tourist cities in Spain. What's more, Granada is one of the biggest academic centers in the country. The university is located in many different buildings all around town. This, for example, is the Faculty of Law. One of the reasons that attracts over 100,000 students is the level of the university. This place is also popular among Erasmus students from all over the world. About 3,000 of them visit Granada every year. We are in the area of student residences. What do you think about studying in Granada? It's a typical city for students in Spain. There are lots of students, there are lots of girls, you know it. Granada is a more or less small place where everybody meet each other, so it's easy to make friends. And maybe if you rent a flat with some other students, you can know another cultures and that stuff. Cómo se percibe un poco la llegada de los Erasmus, sobre todo algo muy estimulante, su presencia humana, ¿no? Esa especie de pequeño trozo de cultura que traen de cada uno de, de sus países, lo que quizás sea más, más interesante o más más a valorar. Finding the right accommodation is essential to have a great time on Erasmus. The best way to find accommodation is through the ads which are put nearby university areas. Here we have an ad about a flat which is located near Alhambra and it's only 300 euro. Everyone who comes to Spain will notice that everything is closed between 2 and 5 p.m. The temperature in this time is so high that everyone, literally everyone, hides from the heat. If you even look at my shadow, you will notice how small it is, because the sun is almost directly over my head. <laughs> People in Granada are famous for enjoying their free time and sometimes drinking. Maybe that is why they built a great monument of a drunkard on the middle of the square. In our view, this guy should be standing in Botellon. What is Botellon, you will find out a little bit later. We're here with Jacek. He said he's gonna show us the typical Erasmus flat. This is uh, one of the best rooms here. It's one of the biggest and most comfortable. Now it's time for a kitchen. And what can I say, it's typical kitchen. Here we have four persons and it's uh, 130 square meters flat. How much do you pay for rent here in this place? It's about 700 euros plus the cost of life, like water, electricity. I'm here with Jose, who isn't an Erasmus student, but he's a Spanish guy who lives with Erasmus students. José, ¿cómo está la vida con la gente Erasmus? Es genial, es una experiencia muy constructiva. Se, se aprende mucho, he compartido culturas y aprendo un poco de idioma cada día y además hay mucha diversión. Siesta ends at 5 p.m. Later, students gather in bars that serve local specialities, so-called tapas. Basically, you order a drink for around 2 euro and you get a free portion of local food. Now, we are in the street called Pedro Antonio, which is supposed to be the best place with tapa bars in Granada, especially for students. Okay, okay, so we will have five beers 
and five bomba mexicana. Yes. Okay, we're in a bar called Boabdil with Caroline, who is the owner. Do you have a lot of Erasmus students here? Every day in the week, uh, people from every country, uh, students from Erasmus. We cook with the heart. Tell us, what is Botayol? What is well, this place? This is awesome thing where everybody in this city uh, comes here to drink. You know, they just, before going to uh, pubs and clubs and everything... What time they come here? Well, they come here very late compared to what we're doing in the Netherlands. They come here like uh, starting at uh, 1 a.m. maybe, and they and they leave at like 3 a.m. And then they go to the clubs, because clubs here, they open at 3 a.m. I mean, before 3 a.m. there's nobody in a club here. I would most definitely recommend coming here as a future Erasmus student. You know, I'm a Erasmus student here myself, and I enjoy this experience. It's beautiful. I loved it. Okay, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. It was a great pleasure. Could you tell us something about your Erasmus experience? Yes, it was amazing experience in Poland. I love Polish people and it was a great year in my life. Oh, I'm gonna look for more Spanish girls. <laughs> was it difficult for you to communicate with Spanish people to go to lectures in Spanish? Oh no, there is not so much difference between French and Spanish. So uh, Half a year it's enough in Spain to understand most of the things. The best thing is to have Spanish friends and to come to speak, to go out with them. Tonight is a special night because it's a farewell party for Erasmus students, so come on, let's enter. Describe your Erasmus experience here. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, it was wonderful, I, I love it. It's great, and for me, in my case, I can learn English, so it's perfect. Erasmus in Spanish, exactly, it's so good. People are like so good, the weather is warm, people are warm. Paris, Paris, every day, everywhere. I love it. Well, I was Erasmus last year. Yeah, I learned everything. I loved it. So you think Erasmus is amazing? I think Erasmus is the best thing that's ever created in life. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> a very good idea for a weekend or to celebrate the end of your exams is coming to the beach. Now we're in Almuniecar, which is located only 50 kilometers from Granada and you can come here by public transport. As you can see, maybe the beach is not really nice because it doesn't have a white sand, but still it has a lot of attractions. If the seaside is not enough, you can always drive up to the Sierra Nevada mountains where you will find snow even in the middle of June. Unfortunately, our trip comes to an end. We found out that Granada offers excellent academic conditions and vibrant student atmosphere for a relatively cheap price. 600 euro a month should be enough, and that includes accommodation, transport, food, and even nightlife. I think Granada is just awesome, you know. It's a really good city for, uh, for young people. Stop thinking, just come to Granada. It's the best place and you will see why. Jose uh, wrote a song about his Erasmus flatmates and he would like to show us this song. Come on, Jose. Spin that beat. Uh. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Con piso. Extranjeros, compañeros de mi piso, un inciso en mi vida, por granada de movida, borracheras con Erasmus en busca de la felicidad. Y es que no veas cualquier día de vea nuestro piso donde sea, pero pasando lo genial. Crisis brutal, compartiendo y contrastando para aumentar mi realidad, abriendo mi conciencia para ver que hay allá afuera, más allá de las fronteras, barreras que nos frenan, que aquí se rulan y se queman para acabar siendo colegas. This is brutal.